Hello everyone and welcome to another session of our iLab at MIR tutorials. In this session we'll be reviewing uh, the very basic function or step of registering for an iLab account here at Washington University or MIR to be specific. And so what I'm going to do here is go to our URL and log into our iLab system. And so our URL here is wustl.ilabsolutions.com and it's wustl.ilabsolutions.com. And so going to that URL brings me to the screen and you'll see here where it denotes internal Wistel user not a Wistel user and majority of our users will be Washington University users and so the not a Wistel user option is really for individuals that are not members of our um, community here at Washington University but who participate in research in some manner or form in any of our cores. And so I'm going to just click here and basically the click here icon is for anyone who is already an established user as well as anyone who is registering for the first time. And so today we'll be going over someone who is registering for the f very first time. So I'm going to just click here and you can see where it brings me to the screen where it asks for my Wistel key ID and this is because our iLab system is integrated with our Active Directory here at Washington University so you'll only re you'll only be required to have one login which is your Wistel key for any core facility that you might use across the university and so now I am just going to type my Wistel ID in. And I'm going to log in. And when registering for the very first time, you'll see where a uh, iLab account registration screen that pops up. And it will say, hello, welcome to iLab, and please choose your PI or group to get started. And so I know that I am a member of the Woodard Lab. So I'm going to go down and find my PI here Pamela Woodard and I'm gonna put in um, my phone number here and I'm gonna hit register but before I do that I just want to mention choosing a PI here is basically um, registering you for an account and so if you're a member of multiple labs you can choose who the primary person is or the primary um, PI is that you work with and um, once you have an account you can be added to any number of labs that you may work with and so I'm just gonna hit register after hitting register you'll have a welcome screen here that tells you that your account activation is currently pending approval uh, your membership to the following lab and that the institutional administrators have gotten your requests and if you wanted to send a reminder to the designated approver you could click here and um, do so and so now I'm just gonna hit back to the login page and basically what happens is that the PI or the core facility that you want to use will approve your iLab account requests. And so this will conclude our video of looking at registering for an account. 
and in our next video we can look at the, the process of someone who has just been approved. Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial on our iLab at MIR series. And so in this video, um, this is our step two of the registration process. And in our step one of registration process, we kind of went over what it requires for someone to enter when registering for the first time. And so we had gone over clicking here and choosing your PI and so on. And so in this step two um, video, we'll be going through s the person who had requested access to Pamela Woodard's lab and um, was registering for the first time. And so now that person is wanting to log in to iLab for the first time, hoping that Pam Woodard has approved his or hers um, account or the institutional core member has approved his or her account. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to enter my WSTL information. And I'm going to do login and We'll see here, and when logging in for the first time, you'll see where it acts um, for our time zone, and it will have your email below. And if you needed to add an additional email, or if an email had changed, you may also enter that. So what I'm going to do here is go and select our central time zone, and I'm not going to put an additional email here. I'm just going to do set, and for the first couple times logging into iLab you will see our getting getting started screen will pop up maybe for the first five times or so where it gives you a welcome to iLab solution letter and um, talks about getting started click here for core facilities link and so on however over on the left navigation panel where it has home and communication you'll see the two main areas will be uh, core, f core facilities and manage groups and so under core facilities you'll see where it says list all cores and clicking on list all cores this will give you the ability to see all the cores within Washington University at St. Louis that are on the iLab platform and here you can see there are four cores that are on the iLab platform so you can access any of these cores with your one Whistle login. And also hovering over my labs you will see where you're a member of Pamela Woodard's lab. And if you're a member of multiple labs, multiple names will show up here just hovering over my labs and here you'll be able to access the CCIR and any other core on iLab platform and I'm just going to click on the CCIR and here you'll see where it gives you access to the CCIR platform and so I'm not going to go into any other detail this is our registration step 2 thanks for watching